Alright, welcome to the Curling Almond here in Bern, Switzerland, Swiss capital. We're here with the 50th Bern International Ladies Cup. We're coming to you live and to this feature game here is Team Sterne from Switzerland against Team Sidorova. Uh, my name is Armin Harder. I'm here with Mark Cullen again. Mark's decided to join us. Hello, Mark. Hi, Armin. Thanks for dropping in again. And uh, here we see those nice rocks. Yeah, a beautiful picture of the stones there. And here's Team Stern from a left to right. Briar, Herlimund, uh, Elna Stern, Lisa Giesler, and Sling Keller. And here we see Anna Sidorova, Fomina. Satova and um, just lost it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get that. We'll get those teams straightened out again. And both these teams. This is a, a final or a semi-final. Sure, it was a uh, Nikiroka Isik, of course. And we're into the first rocks already. The Swiss team yeah, yeah, has the yeah, hammer yeah. here in the first end. We've got a little delayed start here because of uh, some Ole. rotation off the ice. Uh, correction, the, uh, you can jump in any time you like, Mark. I didn't see that red one sitting at the back there. So actually, Sidorova has the hammer. And of course, we see the little red hammer on the scoreboard here. So. You can kick me any time I yep, no say problem. something wrong. I'll smack you too if you say something wrong. I wouldn't expect anything <laughs> less. <laughs> You're beating each other. That's not uh, Zeke. That's, that's Alina Kovaleva is playing there. So straight away here in the, the first end, uh, the house being split by Anna Sidorova. Yep. Yeah. Trying to trying to engineer the the force, yeah. uh, nicely played, pretty level. Makes uh, the makes any opportunity to remove the two shots very difficult. So, okay. Stan just lines up uh, for a takeout here. So both teams uh, in these early stages just trying to see what the ice is doing, judge the speed, judge the curl. Curling a little bit, has a big roll. It's probably just going to hang around in the, in the back edge of the 12 foot. And uh, Sidorova straight away calls for the freeze on that stone. We get a bit of an indication here, looking at how much ice that uh, Anna is giving, there's how much curl is in, the, is in this event or on the sheet. Here's uh, Alexander Reva. As, as we would have it, the Russians well, last minute changes to their team and uh, we can <laughs> get the information in time. Yeah, there's been quite a few um, chopping chopping and changing of lines up. <laughs> chopping <laughs> and changing. Yeah, right right up to the start of the game. So yeah. it's it keeps us on our toes, Armin. As long as there's no blood on the ice, we're okay. Indeed. Uh, yeah, chopping is happening. No, exactly. <laughs> all sphere in love and war. <laughs> and curling. So that was a little light. Pulled up a little short. So we said at the start of the show, this is the, the 50th anniversary of this uh, particular yeah. event. As we watch Lisa Giesler. <laughs> 50 years. Mm, that's near, nearly as old as you. Been commentating right from the beginning, yep. Oh. <laughs> You're a founder member, yeah. <laughs> Not quite. Thanks, Mark. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so you yeah. got a little fortunate with the jam at the back. Sidorova still biting one in the left hand side there. Alexander Rebra.
So this team uh, really trying to find some new motivation again after a uh, very disappointing, uh, for them, a very disappointing uh, results in their qualifiers for the Olympics. Yeah. Team, team Sidorova's had a pretty rough time. They, they, they had a really bad time. Things didn't really go their way in St. Gallen at the Europeans. And then, of course, they come into the, uh, the playoff for the Olympic berth. And, and once again, things didn't really go their way. So I think there's a little bit of regrouping going on. Well, certainly a lot of mental work going on there now, trying to find a, a new motivation. And they're still one of the strongest, stronger teams in the world. I just need to get back on track again. You can't be on top of your game all the time. You just hope you're on top of your game at the right moments, though. Absolutely, that's what it counts. Ellis Darren Skip, who's playing third rocks. She's out of that second. She's got a little piece of it. Yeah. Stone curling a lot, even at that weight. Said her over calls for the stone to be replaced. So, trying to put it back, trying to keep the house split. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Try, trying here to hopefully get her two. She's got the hammer, so you know, she's she's working away at that at the moment. And they seem pretty comfortable with this that it's uh, easily into the house and probably around T high, which is exactly where they want it. Good start for Deuce here. Sweeping this one pretty hard, trying to hold the line, trying to make sure it hits. And once again, it does hit, but it does spill. Rolls out the back of the house. So once again, uh, Sidor Rover will ask for the, the stone to be replaced. So we're in the, we are doing the A group here. This is basically the semi-final for the A group. Sweep, sweep. Uh, 20, uh, 32 teams starting in uh, triple knockout. Lose in the A, you go down the B, you lose in the B, you go down the C, and if you lose in the C, you can go home. So this is still A group, and this is uh, Sterna. She qualified this far, so far, by beating Claire Hamilton from Scotland and Rafael Kaiser from Switzerland. And on the other side, Sidorova beat Michelle Schlachter in the first game and then Andrea Schopp in her second game. So both these teams still on two wins, no losses. And the winner of this game will face either Felcher or Verano in the A final this evening. And we will be showing one of those A finals. And that'll either be Mozeva against Sh Jackson or the winner of this game against Felcher or Verano. As we watch Briar Hurleyman playing fourth rocks. Gets a nice little roll. Yeah. Just about. They might have been able to sweep that, eh? Yeah, it seemed to give up on it quite, yeah. uh, quite quickly. Um, but the opportunity was set up um, because the previous stone from Sidor Rover, as you can see in the right-hand side of our screen, stopped short. So it's uh, having to change your game plan a little bit for, this, for the remainder of this end. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me if she even thought about a blank here. But... Uh, So the hit being called, really hoping to uh, kind of downweight hit, mm. trying to hit this uh, red stone that's in the top of the 12 foot and maybe just roll in behind, the, tuck in behind the guard. Oh, oh, and a oh, 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 oh. 
European champion, 2015. And two third places in 15 at world championships, two bronze medals. Then the silver medal in 2017. Very solid record from this team, just uh, having a not a great year, and that's all. Yeah, a little bit of a, a blip, perhaps. The record speaks for itself. They've been pretty high achievers all the way through, so. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, Staring at team, still a very young team. Being coached by Christine Urich, two time world champion with Felcher. Okay. Just a biter and then get the roll. So. Looks like an attempt at a blank here. Nose hit. Last rock here in the for first end. Sidorova will be wanting to probably either clear it completely or hit it on the nose. And it looks like she's going for the clear. And blank the end. And with that blank, the Russian team will maintain the hammer. Going into the second end here at the Bern Ladies International. results uh, for all the other games going on and some of the other tournaments going on on the tour. Big mixed doubles event taking place in the Netherlands. Worldcurl.com, you can get all the results and scores and teams and ranking. And of course, this production in cooperation with the World Curling Federation, World Curling TV. I'm glad to have them on board as a partner. And we're starting off the second end. Five world champions, or former world champions taking part in the event. A number of Olympic teams playing, so it'll be interesting to see how those teams, we're starting to get close, eh? For sure. They're starting, I'm sure they're starting to get well, this is such a big event and there's such a, a quality entry. You know, the, the field that's here is uh, really top end. So the, the Olympic teams especially will be using this as a little bit of a shakedown and a, a bit of fine tuning of their, you know, their, their skills, their game skills, keeping their eye in uh, so that uh, when they get to Pyeongchang in next month, then they're, they're in you know, the right position at the right time. Top of their game, I think, is the, the phrase you used. Uh, so. And we have uh, quite a number of young teams here too. That event, we last draw we saw two very young teams who have uh, come through to the through the, with a couple of wins in the A, beating some big teams. Could get messy down in the B and C. Well, <laughs> always that, always that sure, possibility. Down in C, you figure, okay, we'll get an easy team now, and all of a sudden you got to play against a former world champion or something like that. That's that's, uh, that's always the chance you take in a triple knockout. <laughs> it uh, uh, keeps you on your toes. Absolutely. So, and then talking about young teams, you know, uh, Hulleman, Briar Hulleman on the screen now, you know, uh, youth Olympian, 
as well and played in the Youth Olympics and with, uh, with uh, yeah, and Geisler also a gold medalist at Youth Olympics, yeah. Lisa. So for, for being quite a young team, there's a fair bit of experience there. Yeah. And also done well at uh, World Juniors. Owen just hangs on the edge. A little more open in this one. Yeah, just and here we see Lisa Giesler. Her coach for many years was uh, Urstick. Do you remember Urstick? No, I've got to say I don't. A gold medalist in Elberville. When oh. curling was a demonstration sport? That's that's way before my time, <laughs> 1992. Oh, yeah. Mm. I think he beat uh, Kevin Martin in the final. Okay. Mm. But it's when you, when you look at uh, those kind of uh, facts and figures and you look at the fact that curling really only became uh, a full medal sport in Nagano in 1998, Japan. That's right. And uh, at that time, there was uh, 25 countries in the world part, if you like, of the World Curling Federation. And now, 20 years later, 2018, there are 60 countries. So it's, it's more than doubled in 20 years. So 140 more to go. Right, exactly. <laughs> you know, just have to keep working on it. Yeah, better buy some plane tickets. But, uh, it's, quite a, it's quite a meteoric rise of the sport. Uh, it's more than doubled in size uh, in terms of the, participation, the participating nations. Or the, na the nations that are available to participate. So well, we also see it on the tour. Um, on the yeah, men's side, watch. there's well over almost 800 teams yeah, yeah. playing, and on the women's side, there's yeah, close to 400 yeah, playing on the tour, and they're coming from all over the place. Yeah. That shows that something we're going to be doing something correct or correctly. Uh, so. so we're not we're looking at. Pretty open, empty house. We used, we used the line yesterday that the removal men had been in because the house was empty. Um, so we won't use that one again. But uh, they, they moved somewhere else, didn't they? It would look like it, yeah. <laughs> so Sidorova currently ranked 13th on the world tour ranking. And uh, find out where Stern is. There we are. She 83 on the world ranking. So top quarter of the tour rankings. Yeah. Once you get into that top 100, you're, you're probably doing okay. But, uh, goal is to get into the top 20 or top 10, of course. So just a hit called here. Stone just sitting in front of the house now gives uh, Sidor over a chance to come round it in the hope that she can uh, try and get two out of the scent. Margarita Fomina. Yeah. Sidor over calling that right away. Yeah, going for the line, so it must be quite close. It's curling. Both of them are really working it hard, trying to keep it, trying to keep it going. Divai, divai. But it didn't divai enough. No. Nope. Rex on the guard and rolls in the top. No, 
Both teams seem to be struggling a little bit just with uh, with the ice. They're, they seem to be immediately pouncing on stones as soon as they're out of hand. So either the ice is uh, moving a lot more than than we are actually seeing here, or they're just maybe not adjusting to the line properly. So it's uh, it's well, meant to both out the first couple of ends have been a little bit scrappy. We really need a clean release with these rocks, and prefer to be on the positive side as to rolling it. Yes. No chance if you're rolling it. Oh, absolutely. The, 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 sto the stones are, are aggressive. We're seeing big curls. And, of course, that is very unforgiving. So you have to make sure that your, your release is positive. Because if you go with a lazy handle, you're just you're, you're going, they're going to curl so much that it's going to be almost uncontrollable. Aggressive, nasty K's rocks. <laughs> and you can tell us all about those, of course. Indeed, Mark indeed. Colin yeah. Bean. Very important person with case of Scotland. Travels around the world and probably put some rocks in some unusual places, eh? <laughs> well, <laughs> mm. yeah, no comment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, the, 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 stone, the stones being used here are um, arcade rocks, um, arcade stones. and uh, What did you call uh, Stones. <laughs> and, uh, I thought I heard something else. No, I don't think it was your imagination. <laughs> but uh, I'm hanging around too much with you to. But uh, these stones are the, the same specification that uh, they will use at the Olympics in Pyeongchang next month. Uh, so uh, they are made actually of uh, um, two types of granite. The main body of the stone, where the striking band is, is made of Ailsa Craig uh, common green granite. Um, and the running surface, which is the only bit of the stone that actually touches the ice, is made of Ilsa Craig Blue Hone. And Blue Hone granite is uh, unique in the fact that it's only so far ever been found on Ilsa Craig, a small island off the west coast of uh, Scotland. Um, however, it's a micro granite, and uh, to all intents and purposes, it's effectively waterproof, making it ideal to be on the ice surface because then it will, it, because it's waterproof, it won't uh, pick up moisture and therefore can't pit, can't get little holes in the running surface. If you're using any other granite, you will get over a period of time holes developing in the in the running Daddy. surface, uh, which will then make the stone unusable. So we just watched Briar Hurlyman over curl. Ended up raising the guard she was trying to come around on, but uh, didn't raise it into shot position. Therefore, Sidorova now with the advantage, having a rock at the back of the eight foot that shot and able to throw up one to the other side and maybe score two here in this end. Yes, and of course, all, f all good serious curling clubs will, of course, have K's of Scotland rocks. Well, it's, uh, that's your that free plug now. That's <laughs> <laughs> well, certainly, it, it, to, to be honest, I mean, it, uh, it, these stones are, are used at the Olympics. so And uh, world championships. And world championships. And European championships. You know, they're, they're even used at the Briar. Uh, so that, that they are the, they are kind of the, the standard that, that is used. So uh, many clubs are, are recognizing that. And they've got high performance players in the club. And they want them to play with the same specification stones that they will go to when they go to a Worlds or an Olympics. So it, it makes a lot of sense, I suppose, to, to have K stones. And yeah, for sure, I'm, I'm agreeing with that because I work for the company. But uh, it, it's uh, very similar. You don't go to or learn to drive in a, a Ford and then take your, your, your test in a, an Opal or something. You know, So use, what you're, you know, use and practice what you're going to be using when you get to a, a high level competition. Kind of makes sense. All right, now, Sidorova doesn't like her rocks because uh, it slid through the back of the house and her opportunity for two is uh, in jeopardy. Open draw, miss. Yeah, that's very un sidorova like Briar getting a chance to make good on her last mistake. Sure, 
she'll take advantage of this and that line is looking a lot better and uh, Yeah, letting it curl. Yeah. Quite comfortable it will with it. finish hard at the end if it has the right weight. It's coming down now just a little heavy. Just that much too heavy. Yes. Huh? That's really one rock. That's, uh, that's, that's, uh, that's just uh, how accurate the, these guys are getting. You know, the precision is, is now so important. They have to put it exactly where they want it. A little you know small error like that can make the difference between you getting your one or losing one or two so this is a nose hit for Sidorova and she'll probably be grateful for having that opportunity back to be able to make that two she still needs to make it though and uh, you know this is a really a quiet tap back take out and you, you need the draw weight to be able to do that right you need to control that draw weight yes. so if you're struggling with your draw weight these shots become difficult too yeah so we'll see what she does here yeah for the curl needs to get it on the nose and that's good enough Indeed. so with that the Russian ladies will take two here in the second end and score of two nothing the hammer now goes to team Stern How's your Russian army? Are you following this? Da. Niet. Absolutely. Mm. There's a great view of the the curling club, eight sheet curling club here in in Bern, and uh, beautiful facility. And we're looking from the away end back towards the home end with the see the restaurant on the bottom floor and uh, the viewing gallery up top uh, giving everybody a really nice view of uh, what's going on on the on all eight sheets and you can see all eight are in use at the moment so, so here we go start of the third end i'll have an opportunity to improve my russian again in a couple of weeks as we head to gorky park for the only open air classic on the tour the Moscow Classic, uh, so it should be good fun again. Mm. And uh, of course, great exposure for, for the game in Russia. Always gets a lot of attention, media-wise, and, and uh, you know, folks coming by and taking a look. We had a, about three events on the Red Square in the past, which was quite uh, quite unique. Yeah, under, under the shadow of the Kremlin? Yeah, right next to Lenin. <laughs> okay, well, did Where he play? <laughs> I don't know how he managed to make a lot of noise out there. But uh, it's always great, great fun and really well organized. New league and the cooperation with the Russian Curling Federation. It's good fun. Yeah. And having an outdoor event as part of the tour as well is uh, it's qu it's quite unique. Well, hockey does it. They have their outdoor classic. Sure. And, uh, okay. Why not curling? Of course, curling is, uh, you know, can be a little challenging, depending on the weather. For sure. Yeah. Switzerland, of course, with their open air, they have Swiss championships on open air. Mm -hmm. They're up in the mountains. They've got some beautiful spots to play with. Not too far away from here, actually. On a nice day, you can a good view of the mountains from Bern. Some famous mountains. 
Invisible. The Iger. Link Kohler will be trying to come around that center guard. And nestle up to that Russian counter in the top of the eight foot. And now you see that rock making its move from right to left. And very well done. A nice line of stones there. All right down the center line. Stern will be looking to open this up a bit. She certainly will. Try and get, make sure she's got access to the forefoot. Lisa Giesler. Stern, of course, has the hammer in this end, so he's looking, as you say, uh, Armin, to keep the keep the center open, give her herself a, a chance, but uh, that was not a bad attempt. No, nope. she managed to remove two yellow ones. Did leave hers covering the center, but uh, two yellow rocks gone. The other A final was, who did I say the other A final was? Uh, Felcher and Verano. Verano took one in the first end there. A one nothing lead over Felcher. That's on the adjacent uh, sheet. Uh, adjacent? Adjacent. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the sheet beside us. <laughs> that makes it easy. Adjacent. You uh, shouldn't, shouldn't try those big words, Mike. No, I know. I know. It's, uh, no, that's a nice maker sheet. Yeah, it's difficult in an empty head. Well, the, the guard replaced. Center line guard, just locking it up. Just once again, looking at ripping it off, and opening up. Certainly an opportunity to remove a couple here. And this team, one of the future hopefuls for Switzerland, as uh, yeah, there might be some changes in the f near future. Some of these teams. Right now, of course, Switzerland, fortunate to have three world-class teams. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, uh, with so Felcher, Pats, and uh, of course, Tieren Sony, who will be the Olympic representative for Switzerland. Mm, Switzerland's record in, in women's curling over the, the last few years has been pretty impressive. And uh, it's, a, it's uh, a good testament to the, the system that they're able to provide uh, teams of that, uh, all three teams of that caliber and that quality to, to be fighting for these uh, top spots. But the work doesn't stop. Oh, no, never. Everybody else is working hard, too. So 
Here, make sure that the youth work is done well. Development, and of course the tour is a great place for these young teams to hone their skills. Yeah, move up the rankings. Play against top teams of the world. There's a chance for a double here to get these out to come off that. Right when at least push it out from behind. That's what Stern wants to do. Calling for the sweeping and that end-to-end yeah, -end stuff. Might have got it going a bit, but she threw good weight at it. So the sweepers managed to hold it quite well. That's not a bad result there. Yeah, that's a very good result. Good call too, and just. Yeah. Yeah, really good calling. Sweep. Oh, again, <laughs> calling for the sweep straight out the hand. Mm, boy, if you get this rolling here, this well, might get past the guard. But she might hit the top one, though, right? Close. Oh. <laughs> uh, it was well judged. <laughs> Gutsy. Yep. But uh, once again, calling, calling from the, the sweeping straight out of the hand. In fact, I don't even know if she'd taken her hand completely off the stone and the, the sweeping was being called for. Not so wrong, though, with these rocks. You'd rather sweep early and call off any time, right? Exactly, yeah. To the, uh, because, because being too late. Because they're so aggressive, they would start, when they start to move, they start to move. So yeah. if you get on them early, then you can uh, you try to postpone the point at which they start to move and start to really curl. And... Uh, that's that's maybe what's uh, behind. Of course, if you're being a little more cynical, you might say, well, maybe they're a little bit tight and they're just trying to maintain the line. Either way, with that, that, that shot had a good result. So whatever their reasoning, it worked. So hoping maybe for a little roll here. Yeah, well, this is a little lighter, of course, than the one she just threw. So that ended up moving a lot more. Didn't get the roll she wanted. So while all the focus is on these uh, stones sitting on the center line and to the left as we look, there is, of course, uh, another Sidorova stone sitting on the right-hand side uh, of the sheet that nobody's been bothering with at the moment which may come into play as the send progresses. It's a race to the middle here. Looks like it. So hit being called, probably hoping for a little roll in behind that center guard. Maybe towards the button. She'll need a roll because uh, she won't be shocked if she hits this on the nose. Got the roll. Sitting one and two. It's a little bit of discussion here as to the best way forward. She'll need, a, she'll need to get a roll on the inside somehow. The question is which one will be the easier on the tape. Yeah. 
Hack? Mit einem Elfi oder so, oder Hack, ja. Ich glaube, Hack. Hack? Mhm. Es läuft rechts gerade, ich glaube, da. Well, looks like she's calling in this um, at hack weight. Yeah, Trying to catch a little bit of the inside of this yellow stone. Roll in behind the cover. Not an easy shot, this one. Decided she doesn't like this, so Briar Hurleman's coming back down the ice to, to have a little further chat. Nein, <laughs> So we're talking about hitting this on the nose, and that might just be okay, but I think she needs to hit and roll to the inside here and try and get shot out of this. Because if she does, she's not shot, Sidero is just going to plant the second one in the house somewhere, and she's going to be forced to take her one. So I really think she needs to somehow try to make sure she's shot after this. There's not a lot of uh, margin for error here. No, we need to come close past that guard and get on the inside of that yellow one. So we're really down the weight. Down the weight, take out. Let it work. Lots of room. Kohler can sweep now maybe and get it moving a little bit more, but uh, didn't get it. It's and rolls to the other side. You'll probably see Sidorova now. Maybe draw behind that center. I think so. <coughs> Try to plant it right there where she just had her broom. There's no point hitting any of those red ones. The, sh the best counter, red counter, is not accessible. And she's sitting shot right now. With that yellow rock on the left hand side. Did say earlier on that, that it might come back into play a part on this end, and it, uh, it certainly has. So, in turn draw. And you see that center guard, they're staggered, so if she gets behind that, she's in a pretty good position. She needs to stay top of the forefoot, though, she doesn't want to go too far back. That'll set up. A slash double on that yellow on the right. So her draw on the last in the first end went right through back of the house. Let's see how she's doing here. <coughs> Taking a long time in the hack. <laughs> Never been a great fan of people spending a long time in the hack. I think when they're crouched down like that, uh, you're just thinking of your old knees. That's the well, I'm thinking more <laughs> of circulation. <laughs> Yeah. And, and my knees are the same age as the rest of me. <laughs> yeah. So, what are you saying here? <laughs> so, it's on its way. I'm just. Not being, just keeping it go. Oh, now they go. It's getting hard as it starts to curl. Mm, lines are looking pretty good. The lines are not bad at all. I just want to keep it. Front of T. They just about do it perfectly. Well, yeah. That slash double now possible. It is, but it's still, it's it's a, still tough a, one, a tough one, Tough shot to make. Yeah. She doesn't want to go any deeper than she is, that's for sure. She had to stay up top of the forefoot. Yeah. So, no option here. Go aggressive. Try the slash double. If you get lucky, you get two. Nothing if you if you don't. 
Although well, you're going to give up one anyways, right? Might possibly here. They're just trying to draw that. Is uh, going to be really tough. So exactly. I think she has to go for this. Yeah. yeah. If we can see from the, the other angle that um, it look, from here it looks pretty just hit this yellow, but there is a guard out front that's not in this picture. Uh, she's got to come past, and uh, that's going to going to be a little bit of a distraction. Briar Briar's a pretty strong player. She can she can throw some weight, for sure. So not taking very much ice here, so this one's going to be coming with some speed. Pretty well straight at the broom. stone of this third end. <coughs> Big kick off the hack, and leaving it alone. No, sh no sweeping at all. You don't want to miss it. You want to make sure you get it. Oh, oh no. And she had to hit one for sure. So that's a steal of two. A little unfortunate end there for the Swiss team. Sidorova with a really perfect draw. Forces that with her last one. And with that steal of two, it's now four to nothing after three ends of play. Stern will get the hammer. see what the results are of these other games or this morning's games. <coughs> Go to worldcurl.com. We're coming to you live from Bern, Switzerland. With the 50th Bern International Ladies Cup. There's been some great names on this winner list, too, over the years. You're still getting Christmas cards from all of them? <laughs> Gustafsson, Kelly Law, Colleen Jones, Verona Martin, Annette Norberg, Clybrink, Kelly Scott, Jennifer Jones, Tieran Sony, Muirhead Pats, Linda Moore, Heather Houston. Some great curling names on that list. It is a real who's who of curling. A who's who of women's curling in the last few years. It always has a pretty, pretty good draw. We go with the opening stones of the fourth end. Sidorova against Stern. Sidorova leading 4-0. Alina Kovaleva. So, two really nice rocks there. Four foot guard.
put up a corner guard. Hmm. Might be it. You know. I think well, I think uh, she's needing more stones and uh, the more stones in play for her, the better. Um, yeah, but, but uh, you put up a corner guard, trying. I don't know. Maybe bring it into play because start playing up the middle here. That's for sure. The corner guard's a little far out, but it's still usable. This has got to come down. It's a little warm. Now it's moving. It's all right. Get to the inside of that and flop in behind there. Yes, so I think it's will move. Uh, it's certainly one option, but uh, it doesn't but look you like get a four-nothing lead, right? Exactly. So keep it clear. So let's not mess around. Yeah. So. See by the movement of Anna Sidorova's broom there that she wants to remove this red stone and roll across towards the center line with her with the shooter to uh, protect the shot that's on the button. Alexander Reva. This is moving. Well, not bad. Yeah, that kind of worked out not too badly at all. Certainly had an improvement in the position as far as Sidorova is concerned, but uh, not so good for start. It's accessible the intern, though. It is. It is. Rolled, or that guard just rolled a bit too far. We can see here it's half open, actually, or at least a third open. Lisa Kiesler. Try and come down on top of that. Yeah, Pass the guard. Just, oh, just. A pretty gutsy call. Wow. <laughs> wow, it's a <laughs> well, well played. Off it. Uh, I mean, yeah. Call them off and then put them right straight back on. <laughs> Real sweeping really, really hard and pass that guard with very little to spare. However, at the end of the day, it's passed the guard and the, the shot was made and it was well called, well executed. Might take a run at the right one and drive that back and double wow. them out. This is not going to double them out going over the middle. No. Nope. It's going to... It's a longer... Well, she gets one of them, picks it out. I think she might have played the one on the left there. She might have been able to drive it back and double out the red ones. The main thing for Sidorova is that uh, there's one less red one in the house. Oh, that's true. the stone right right back into right back into that little pocket one of the yellow stone and they're right off it so they think it's maybe a little bit heavy a little bit long but it's moving now uh, and it's just a little heavy but behind the T line And uh, once again, not messing around, wanting to get some of these red counters out. Margarita Fomina trying to get that back red one out. Maybe stick it on the nose. Well, 
Just Ooh. skins past that and get a nice little roll out of it, too. Absolutely. Just missed the top red one. Oh, she liked that. It was a big yeah. smile. She, well, she touches that top red one. She's in trouble there. Yep. <laughs> we'll, see how, we'll see here how close that was. Good sweeping. And, uh, boy, there wasn't a lot of room there. She just touches that top red one. She's got a horrible shot, as it turns out. She's now shot and guarded. So we're down the Skips Rocks here, and uh, or no, we're not. We're at Thirds Rocks. Yep, Third Rock. Yep. Stay on the low skipping is playing three. Yeah. So she's uh, she wants to play that top yellow one, sitting in the 12 foot, in the red. And she yep. wants to hit and roll over. Just open that up a bit and get another red rock into the house. Yeah, she's moving. Yep, she's moving a lot. And it's just whether she gets past the first one, looks like she has. Yes, she did. And she is. Well, she might have liked to have rolled a little further, but it's uh, mm. I her think rock so. that's in the top of the 12 foot. That's not yeah. too bad. Of course, there's a double possibility here now for. Uh, and uh, that's Sidorova. not lost on Sidorova. She immediately spotted that, and that looks like being the call. You don't have much of a choice. There's the danger of jamming, of course, but I think you got to go for it. Counter removed. This uh, well, same kind of shot she just played with her first one, but right off it, though, moving oh, just, just a little touch. Yeah, be disappointed with that result. Mm. Sorry, I think they were kind of caught between uh, the say the devil in the deep blue sea, you would sweep it and, and try to hold the yeah, line and get might more take out her own in the back, though. Eh? Exactly, and so that's open. No, it hasn't opened up too not, much. No. no, it's not open really <laughs> at all, I but thought, it, it I but it's um, I think she, I think it was a case of you know. Almost, uh, if we, we sweep it, we could be doomed. If we don't sweep it, we're doomed. <laughs> it was just... Uh, Sidorova's got the run back here. Uh, she has. Uh, but of course, at the moment, Sidorova's lying shot. So, did she try to Yeah, you could guard us? it. They were coming down the last rocks. Yeah. Absolutely. Try to close it up and then try to steal. There's, an, there's only a little bit of the... I mean, the, which you pretty much have to draw the button to... to Take a one in the well, sense down. Steal one more here and it's pretty well game. Yeah, it would be pretty much, I think. Uh, it could be game over if, if you like. Uh, it certainly would mean that uh, uh, Sidorova would be just uh, hitting everything inside and trying to keep his, the minimum amount of stones in play. Um, obviously, if um, Sidorova gives up one here, it's not the end of the world for her. She gets the hammer back. But. Uh, 
I'm sure given the choice, she would rather steal. She does spend a bit of time talking in the hack, but you know, she's young. If we spent that much time down the hack, we wouldn't be able to get up again. Well, speak for yourself. It's just an, it's amazing now how, to see how much the, the game has changed in such a short time. It's not that long ago there was big backswing deliveries and lifts and, and all the rest of it. Ages ago. Yeah. Well, it does set up an angle. Take out the, she wanted to come up and freeze up to that, did you? I think, like it. I, I think that was uh, I think that was the call. Angle um, freeze on it and then maybe yep. whack it out with the next one. Exactly, create the angle to uh, to, to avoid this particular situation now of uh, this potential run back. But, uh, the problem for the Swiss team is that these are all Russian rocks. So there's no none of their own rocks out front. To use. No, that's very true. So quite a bit of discussion discussion going on here. Clearing. <laughs> 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 So is she going for the long one? Okay, yeah. Long guard, drive it back on those yellows and try open this up a bit. She knows she can't afford to give up another steal here. Yeah. I, d I think, to be honest, that's the that's our best option, trying to, trying to open up, give herself a shot. Uh, say three three Russian counters out front, and the lying shot. So I think really the only option is to open it up, or to attempt to open it up. So this is going to have to come with some weight. A lot of granite to move here. Briar Herleman throwing fourth rocks on this team. And that's uh, any quicker and that would have a vapor trail. Uh, moves all three, but doesn't really dramatically improve the situation. <laughs> no, really help her too much. You know. So if you sit her over here, do you just block it up and force yeah. it to try and, you know, draw the corner just of the button? Throw the guard on it and she'll have to draw the button. Yeah. And she's been, uh, Briar's been throwing takeouts the whole time here, so. Yeah, might be. I don't think she's thrown a draw yet, has she? Yeah, yeah in the first end she threw some draws. Mm -hmm. But she's certainly under the cosh here. She's, uh, this end has not really gone according to plan at all. And uh, as we, we move to the, the conclusion of the fourth end, uh, yeah, she's not on the scoreboard. So she really has to be to stand any chance of clawing her way back into this game. Her over our last stone here. Just tighten the ice up a little bit. Just trying to block this up and uh, force the stone team, Sasha, 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 Sasha
draw the button to, to get her one. And the stone is designed to try and block that path in to make that as difficult as possible. Looks to me as it's over curling just a little bit. She's throwing a little bit light, a little bit more curl than she, she maybe hoped for. But um, I think yeah, she's just opening it up and saying, okay, we'll block this up, have a go at the button. Big draw here for Brian Herleman. She makes this. It's a 4 1 game. If not, it's 5 0. After 4 or 1, looks a lot better than 5 0. Absolutely. So, big shot halfway through this game. Quite a deliberate head movement there as she releases a stone to loop down. And this is looking pretty good. Too far away. They're working it hard. It's going to be close. Coming up short. But it is just a little short. The line was excellent. So that's another steal for Sidorova. And it gives her a commanding 5 nothing lead here halfway through this game. And uh, time to switch your team to takeout mode. Yeah, I think so. I think you should just uh, keep everything clear now. Oh. Lots of smiles in the in the Sidorova team. Yeah. Uh, a few anxious looks and glances been and comments being exchanged uh, with the Stern team. So they're going to have to throw the kitchen sink at them here to try and get anything going. Five nothing after four ends of play. Stern is still with the hammer here in the fifth. We're at the 50th International Bernie's Ladies Cup World Curling Tour event. It's been a little while since you mentioned Facebook. You can always take a trip along yeah, there and absolutely. Uh, put a like. Support, support the tour and your teams. Go like our World Curling Tour Facebook site or, and join Twitter and and give us the benefit of your knowledge. Sure. Well, send us a question on Facebook too, if you have any. I'm sure Mark is be very happy to provide any kind of answers. Oh, look at that. team delivering us coffee. Yes, that's a nice surprise. They haven't heard our commentary about them yet. Uh, not yet. Uh, <laughs> uh, they're not on our featured sheet. Uh, they're a couple of sheets over. But still very nice of them to think of us and yeah. uh, bring us a little hydration. That was because of you, of course, not because of me. I yeah, of course. Well, that uh, Kovaleva's playing a super game so far. Really getting those rocks in good position. Yeah, real textbook stuff there from her. So now, let's use that corner guard. Get behind it. I don't think I'll eat that right now. I'll get stuck in my throat and then I won't be able to commentate. <laughs> Sable cookie. So, an attempt to come around this corner guard. Yeah, trying to set something up. 
Desper Stern desperately needs to get a score on the board and, and, and a big score on the board quickly to try and keep herself in this game. That's all right. It's nicely played. Well hidden behind that long corner yeah. guard. Sidero was going to rip off the guard anyways. Yeah. Uh, you see how nicely buried that is, of course. Mm -hmm. So this, of course, is the, um, the, the fifth stone of the end. So uh, the three guard zone is no longer counting. But of course, this year. Uh, <laughs> this year. But next year, um, of course, they move to uh, the five stone rule, yeah. Ooh, which is going to be. I missed this. Oh. Ooh. Well, we've got a mistake out of the Russian team. So if they go to a five stone uh, free guard zone, that's going to, it's going to change the tactics significantly, do you think? Yeah, we'll have to think a little more too. Right? I think so, and it's going to mean the potential for a lot more stones to be in play. Yeah, and the seconds position might become a, you know, a little different. Indeed. Maybe throwing some different rocks and not used to. Have to start thinking about okay. strategy on that. Indeed, yeah. some other options. Huh? We'll quickly generate a three or four on here. Get more rocks in play, huh? Uh, I think it certainly uh, increases the or has the potential to 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 bring more taps and you know raises into into play. Uh, if you're chasing the game, then it's, uh, it could certainly help quite a bit if you've got uh, more stones in play, something to hide behind, and a less opportunity to take them all away in one fell swoop. So. It's been an interesting progression on that free guard zone. I think the first time it was used at world competition was in 1992 in Garmisch. The Canadians for many years played a three guard, a three rock guard role. World Federation went directly to a four rock. And now, because of slams and tour, five rock has come into play. Yes. <coughs> so the first event where that's, uh, that's in force should be interesting. Well, they've been playing the slams in Canada, five rock uh, all, mm -hmm. all year. Sure. I think even last year. Play. Teams seem to like it. Yeah, they've had some some uh, interesting uh, <laughs> interesting developments in the slams this year, uh, where they you know, put a put a stone on the button and you get two points and stuff. So yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's you know, a little bit, but uh, no freestyle curling. Absolutely. Mm. So, but. Uh, well, once again, Stern's chasing it here. Three Russian counters, all in the house, all in the front of the the T line. So it's. Uh well, I'm happy to see they're not playing takeouts on these. Well, that's good. Yeah, no, trying I think to utilize them. Yeah, use uh, utilize that uh, Yellowstone on the edge of the forefoot. Kind of quiet weight. Maybe hoping just for a little. A little tap and roll in behind the cover. They're working this one really hard, and it's just over curling yeah, a little. Over uh, well, you leave it out front, but yeah. it's a little easier to pick up. Is it uh, is it over curling or is it just light? Well, the weight seemed all right. It moved that yellow rock a fair amount, I and mean, I think the weight was fine. All right. So just a little more ice required. Maybe a little more ice. Yeah. <coughs> You're going to intern take out here. Looking at just picking this one out and rolling across. Well, the danger of playing this Picking this out is your your shooter is gonna if you're playing takeout weight your shooter is gonna roll over and and this dislodge those yellow ones they're sitting in a perfect spot right now yeah. if you if you touch those you may just you know reposition them behind the T line or something like that I, mean, that, I don't I don't think she really wants to move those two yellow ones that are sitting there. no I I, I completely and agree it's hard to hard to take this out cleanly without doing that. 
There was a suggestion, suggestion there that uh, you just freeze to that and take the angles away. Well, you could play a you could play a soft soft takeout, just push it out to the side and roll mm -hmm. in front of them again. I don't think you need to play a normal takeout. Play a hack weight and just roll in front. That would be from a from a Sidorova point of view. That would be probably yeah, plan A. But there's quite a lot of discussion going on here yeah. between uh, Sidorova and Fomina. And Verano Felcher game. They're finished four ends of play, and uh, it's 2 1 for the Verano. Close game. Felcher's had uh, her first two games were walkovers. Very easy. Two games. Yeah, nicely done. Yes. So she played the out turn and that uh, allowed her to roll across the top of those. I suppose the in turn would have come off at a sharper angle. Yeah, well, well done. So they're going to have to make a play at some of these yellow rocks. They're going to have to get some behind to yeah. move them around a well bit. Well, they're, they're accumulating <laughs> at, a, at a big rate of knots here, so uh, Stan has to do something. Um, it's almost a case of getting to damage limitation here. Elena Stan. No sweeping here, the right off it, letting it curl. Here it comes. Starts to move. Trying to create some angle here and get a bit of movement, separation. A little late on the sweep there, I think. Yeah, I think it kind of it moved very quickly at the end and then kind of almost caught them by surprise, if you like. Again, uh, stone rolling to the wing, giving Sidorova the opportunity to remove it. Nose head, I'll put her back to line four. And indeed, that's pretty much what happens. Still line four, so situation's not really changed for no. Stern. She's still chasing this big time. Um, Uh, so look at this There's the yellow stone on the right of the forefoot we're looking to try and freeze it corner freeze or something yeah, yeah. i think so that's uh, about their only opportunity to try and get something out of this end and the freeze is obviously a really difficult shot to play perfectly so they're under the cosh here and they have to try and come up with something a little bit special last stone. She, she of course is the skip but is playing third rocks. Oh. <coughs> Watching this one all the way in. A little bit firm. She's got a little bump. Okay. That's a good that spot. Not, yeah. not bad there. There's a little bit of backing now. It gives her something maybe to work with. Makes it, uh, Makes it tough for um, Sidorova to remove. But I think she's going to have a look at it anyway. Yeah, she got the double going that way. Yeah. She didn't waste much time there. Yeah. Looking at trying to lift the double here, I think. Just to add insult to injury. Yeah. Of course, these teams are ranked quite a 
Hurt, 83 for Stern and ranked 13 for Sidorova. So Stern playing up quite above her class at the moment. And a lot of experience with the Sidorova team. Gets it. Well played. Uh, nice controlled weight. Although uh, with uh, those four rocks sitting on the back one wasn't really a big factor, I don't think. No. Just just to <laughs> yeah. She had to, had to get the counting rock out first. Or, or something for your own morale. Indeed. So once again, um, Stone's got a, got a sit right on top of this uh, yellow stone. Try and freeze it. And uh, the, the lady tasked for that this time is Briar Herleman. Be her first stone. She plays fourth stones in the team. How to make two. Very well nose freeze onto that. Eh? I think so. I think so. So she just asked where her last draw was. She said, well, it was top of the eighth foot, so. Compensated. Just get a little flop in behind. We'll keep sweeping. We've been able to sweep that and get a little roll in behind the top red one, or the top yellow one. As soon as the sweepers communicate, it's long. Maybe change, change the call. That's right. Always have a plan B. So once again, uh, Sidorova is just trying to pick this one out. It does it does leave the the four it would leave the four foot wide open uh, and four well four stones team and, uh, to draw for the one. <laughs> to keep uh, any hopes of a comeback in this uh, game alive, then that's, they certainly need to get on the scoreboard. That's quite an uphill climb. It is for sure. And it's Sidorova. Last rock for her in the fifth end here. Just trying to remove that red Swiss counter. Maybe sit four or five. She does, so. Oh, there's a nose hit there for Briar. Mm -hmm. That's what she's opting for. Considering her last two draws. Stone She'll of probably this feel more comfortable with this. Yep. Yeah. She didn't waste any time in calling it. So. <laughs> no, see, I'm not drawing. I'm <laughs> playing the hit. Absolutely. Quite animated there when yeah, it seemed to be. <laughs> maybe a little bit of panic. Yeah. Uh, she makes her hit, scores one. And gets herself on the board. Trying to get on the scoreboard here after five ends of play. But 
a 5-1 lead for Sidorova with the hammer going into the sixth. The Swiss still have their work cut out for them. I think they've got a big Swiss mountain to climb. A <laughs> big Swiss mountain to climb. Yeah. yeah. And the uh, Sidorova the team looking very serious at the moment. Com. You get results of all the other events and all the other games going on throughout the weekend. We'll be here all weekend. It's only Friday. So another game tonight and three tomorrow and three on Sunday. Take you right through to the finals on Sunday. You're heading back to Scotland soon, or are you heading straight to Pyeongchang? Uh, no, back to back to Scotland first, um, and then actually next uh, next week in in Denmark for the for the nationals. We're, in, we're involved there, and. Uh, and then straight after that, it's off to Pyeongchang. We go out on the, the 26th, 26th of January and start to do the install and get it all ready. And because, of course, this time out, uh, there is mixed doubles as well as the regular men's and women's events. And the mixed doubles actually start uh, a day before the opening ceremony of the Olympics, so, which is very unusual, but great for curling because it's a beautiful venue. It's a nice four sheets and every sheet will have TV coverage for every draw. Um, so it's uh, going to be a, a curling fest. going to have an overdose on curling. Eh? Yeah, yeah. Any hardcore curling fans, then you'll be able to watch it. <laughs> if, and, uh, People that can't get enough of it. Yeah. And of course, if you're in uh, Europe, uh, uh, Korea is, uh, uh, Pyeongchang is eight hours ahead. Eight hours, right. And if you're in the UK, it's nine. So it's, uh, you might, uh, you might have a few sleepless nights <laughs> or have to get up super early. But uh, it will uh, be very interesting just to see how the, the mixed double format uh, plays out in the in You the and me both, yes. We're quite interested in that. Of course, uh, the World Mixed Doubles Curling Tour is part of our program. We've got 25 events now. Started a couple of years ago. We're down up to 25 events now. And all the top teams playing. Last weekend we were in Ara. We had uh, last year's world champion playing against this year's world champion, or this last season's world champion. The Russian pair look number one ranked team in the world. They're looking really good. And last weekend the Canadians had their qualifiers. Yeah. And, and this weekend is uh, in uh, Zutomir. In, in the Netherlands, yeah, so uh, in the Silver Dome, three sheet drink there. <laughs> yes. And the Dutch Masters, Masters, and uh, if you want to see any of that, we've got live streaming and that all weekend too. So, but if you decide to go and watch that, you won't hear uh, Armin and I's dulcet tones. Yeah, I'm sure. You, we just lost uh, a thousand <laughs> viewers. I <laughs> go, yeah, yeah, they go, great. Okay, let's uh, watch this with the sound down. Mm -hmm. well. Uh, we're underway here again in the sixth end, and uh, Stern is just trying to get some guards, trying to keep as many stones in play as, po as possible and give her a chance to hide behind something. And Sidorova's tactics is just like anything anything in play, let's get rid of it. Make it disappear. So. So the winner of our, our game, of course, and that's certainly looking like Sidorova at the moment. Although there's still three ends to go. You never know what can happen. Curling's a funny game. 
but uh, Siderola definitely in driver's seat, and she'll be playing the winner, or whoever wins our game, obviously, will be playing the winner of Verano and Felcher. And Verano just stole one in the fifth to take a 3-1 lead. Came a little yeah, bit yeah. closer than this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, to get it over. <laughs> Well done. Now just creepy crawly. Just gets over the, <laughs> gets over the hog line, but it's in play. And um, Sidorova wastes no time in second. Let's get rid of it. Alexander Eva. She was going for the second one, right? Always. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that was ever in doubt. <laughs> <laughs> she did miss that uh, takeout in the last end. Yeah. That that, I think that's uh, that's a smile she like, was, okay, I got out of jail there. That's what I wanted. Yeah. That's really what I meant. Those long guards don't play a role anyways, right? Exactly. Oh, I got some swamp land. Oh, <laughs> so, yeah. So it's down team really up really up against it here, trying to almost uh, well, they have to create something here. Uh, they don't have the hammer, so it is going to be a tough call. They certainly would, I think, like to steal if they're going to try and close this 5-1 gap. Uh, yeah, big yeah, problem, yeah. of course, is they're, they're running out of ends. And uh, this one also is just kind of going to creepy crawl the over. Yep. Yeah. It, uh, as you can see, I think it's, it's sitting it's on the hot over, line, eh? so But it hit a stone yeah. that is over. So it stays in play. One it one should one. stay in play. It hit a stone one that was in play. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, it should. Okay. It should not be removed. Uh, <laughs> Anna was, Anna was thinking about taking it yeah, away. Yeah. You could have a... And I've seen this before. You've hit three, four times in a row, and that rock is actually not even physically anywhere near the hog line. Yes, <laughs> it's yes. still in play because it has hit a stone that was in play. Uh, uh, but it's, uh, it sets up a double. Should be trying to look to blast these all away. Uh, yeah. And that wasn't a great attempt at that. No, it was a little bit down weight for the for moving yeah. that much granite, but. Uh, yep. Once again, uh, the guard being called. And uh, almost if you're hoping for a, an error from Sidorova's team, I give them an opportunity to come round and get a stone into the house. And so far, um, Sidorova's team is not really giving them the opportunity. Again, looking at potential double, moving both of these red stones. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Calling them off straight away. Yeah. Certainly removes the guard. Pushes the red stone nearer the house, but still out front.
quite a quiet end. Oh, and Briars immediately on release. Because I haven't said long. anything. <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't mean you. I didn't mean you, Armin. I meant in terms of play. They're still being, here. I didn't fall asleep. They were just putting up guards and they're just ripping them off. There's not yeah. uh, much in-house action, if you like. No. Uh, although this one looks like it's uh, certainly going to drift into the house, and uh, okay. it just just creeps into the into the top of the 12 foot. A long double here for Sidorova. Exactly. She she knows double he's out and maybe roll behind the guards. Well, set up a deuce, huh? and, uh, well, that's what she was saying. Yeah. Well, the the other the other I believe you. Um, the other option that uh, uh, my understanding was if she knows hits that, then she's got an opportunity to split for two. Sits it right on the front and plays the last in. Just splits it in. Go take the back one with it, though. It has to exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It, if not, if it doesn't uh, take the back one, then it's. Uh, I might give an opportunity for Stone. Absolutely and nailed it. She and got a biter. And a biter, yes. Oh, nasty. So, uh, super aggressive stones uh, when, as they're spinning away there at the very slow speed. Uh, obviously, have a great deal of op opportunity to grip the ice and, and pull it in towards the house, and that's exactly what happened there. So, it's uh, a very good result for Sidorova there. Stay on left now with nothing but to try and draw in behind this and force Sidorova to take a one. She has to steal. She can't really afford another. No, that's true. One. So last stone of the sixth end. Oh, this is way wide. And, uh, yeah. and long as well, though. A little long now, it's starting to come down. But I think this will be very accessible for Sidorova. Well, that's, well, hits this and sticks and gets two. Yeah, I think I think that could be the end of the game. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Clear what? No, forget it. <laughs> I don't know. No. <laughs> oh, I'll just hit it on the nose. Yeah. I did not say it. Че громко? Наоборот, обычно меня никто не слышит. It's a kind of bread and butter shot she's got to make, but um, it could actually end up uh, be the shot the wins of the game here. Well, we're in the sixth end. She's got a five-point lead, hitting for. I'm pretty sure that's two. That yellow one on the front looks like it's biting. And that will put her into the A final. Still looking to see who's going to play in that game. Verano leading 3-1 after five ends of play. We're working it. Yeah, sounds, sounds all right. Yeah, just keeping it clean. Keeping it clean. It's right on the nose. Nicely played. And the gloves come off. And it's handshakes. With that, Fomina er, and Sidorova and company will head into the A final. And that'll be at 8 o'clock tonight. We'll be showing you one of those A finals. <laughs> And Stern will drop down into the B and try her luck in that group. And still lots of curling left throughout the weekend here at the Bern International. And 
Here we see the final score. Seven to one. Sidorova really pretty well controlled throughout the entire game here. Uh, bit of a fortunate deuce in the uh, third, I believe. Yes. And, uh, but uh, that was it. That sealed it. Yeah, five points uh, for Sidorova over the second, third, fourth ends uh, really was the the nail in the coffin for Stone's team. And then a solid performance throughout the last, uh, except uh, Reva missing a, a couple of clearings. There was no mistakes, certainly not from Anna herself. So as you can see, worldcurl.com will give you results of all the other games going on and of course our mixed doubles in the Netherlands. Go through a sequence. That was that miss. It's cost the two. And then a really beautiful shot here in the fourth end that set up a steal. One, there was a slash double attempt. And just touched it, and that was the steal at two in the third. And we move into the fourth. See that one on the button and the draw attempt to outdraw that. Scoreboard. So, Mark, thanks for sitting in. No Appreciate problem. your input, and uh, we'll be back on at eight o'clock tonight, Central European time, with another A with an A final and look into worldcurl.com or our, look into our Facebook page to see what games are on or our YouTube channels, the World Curling Tour YouTube channel or the <coughs> WCF, the World Curl TV YouTube channel. You'll be able to see what games are on and don't forget to look in on the mixed doubles going on in the Netherlands with the Dutch Masters. And we hope you enjoyed this coverage, and we'll see you later. Thanks a lot, Mark. You're Have welcome. a good afternoon. Thank you.